Hey guys, this is Insomni Blue, and today we are going to be attempting to make a space plane. General design, just to get it into the air, and a functioning plane that, uh, shuttle that you can launch into space and do missions and uh, come back to Earth. Now we're going to go into the space area, space plane area here, the building, workshop, and the hangar. And uh, as we see here, we have the Ares 3A. This is a stock shuttle space plane. And uh, it performs alright. I mean, it's very basic design. But it gives us some idea as to how we should be assembling these things. So let's go ahead and make a new one. We'll call it uh, Star. Starfire Starfire 1 whatever <laughs> so uh, first things first I'm gonna select what kind of cockpit I want to go with here and you now I'm, I'm gonna go basic here and I'm gonna go with the MK1 so that is our base that is our main piece right now move it up here um, and of course we want to have some sort of control module as we do with our rockets now, uh, bear in mind here, this is not supposed to be economical or anything. I'm just showing you how to build generic space plane, or just the basics of what you need to know. Okay, so, of course we need our fuel. So let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, MK1 fuselage, this one is made specifically for this that on there. Uh, perhaps put in a larger one on there. Uh, FL T800. And then let's put some more on there. Just for the body. Because we want to have a body here for the space plane. Okay. Uh, so now that we have that, let's put some sides on here. Get some space plane structure. Like Make, make it look like a plane. Alright, maybe somewhere like right there put two on there fuselage so we don't have too much weight maybe some more extend it all the way to the back here okay uh, that's a little bit short so let's move it back like that alright so we have a little bit of a body going here Okay, so now uh, since this is an airplane or plane and we want to be able to fly economically within the bounds of the atmosphere where we have oxygen, uh, we will be putting turbojet engines on here. These are the most powerful ones. I like the most powerful ones. They may not be the most economic, but they're economic enough to get the job done. Alright, put another one on there. So we have three engines now. Uh, these two are not currently fueled, so what we want to do then is to attach an FTX2 fuel duct, and we will go with two of them, put them straight on there, so they are now being fueled. This one automatically gets fueled because it's already connected to the fuel base, okay? And, of course, as with everything, we want to fasten these with strut connectors so that it doesn't go flying off. Uh, just a, a nice symmetrical pattern here. Two doubles. And one more. Okay. Beautiful. So now we can be sure that it's not just going to fall off. For the front, uh, of course, these jet engines require oxygen, so we have to have intakes air intakes and uh, you can go with whichever ones you like uh, just go whoa, glitch happening here whoa come on alright there we go put those on there those look nice huh okay and uh, one for this one so we don't really have a direct frontal intake to put on this so we'll put it underneath doesn't matter where you really put it as long as it's connected 
move up. Okay. Right there. That's fine. It'll work. So now we have that. We have our base. So now the only thing that is really left is to put wings on. So let's put these on here. Yeah, that looks nice. Put two of them. Like so. Okay. Now we're starting to look like a plane here. Uh, now, as you know, you also have to have canards. So let's put them up here. Okay. Like that. Wonderful. And uh, make it look a little more fancy. Put one of these on. Almost connect them. Like so. Alright, that's good. Now we're really looking like a shuttle. Uh, probably would want to put uh, some sort of tail fins on. But I, I don't like these tail fins because they don't actually do anything. So perhaps put one of these on. Some more canards. But they'll act as tail fins. And do something fancy and make them look a little bit go to the side it won't connect okay here we go all right oh one thing I forgot let's put one of these standard control surfaces on here this is how we make a big wing okay so flip it with our e key oops there we go so now we have a functioning shuttle slash space plane slash plane. Um, now bear in mind what you really want to do here is to keep your center of mass somewhere near the middle. Oh, one more thing I forgot. Here, <laughs> we're not going to be able to take off without or land without gear. Where is it? There we go. So put some gear bays on here. Put a single one on the front. and probably put two on the back here oh, you're facing the wrong way okay there we go two on the back turn this one around there we go gotta make it symmetrical okay so now we have our gear our center of mass is somewhat in the middle. It's, it's It seems to be a little bit back heavy, but that makes sense. I mean, look at all this mass back here. But, alright, it, it looks to be good to go, so let's save that. Okay, and let's see if it works. Okay, so we are on the runway now. We have our newly built space plane slash shuttle slash plane and it's moving a little forward but that's fine okay so we'll test everything out here everything seems to be working in order so let's uh, turn our engines on and throttle up they all seem to be working okay wonderful so we're gonna start lifting up here and let's see if we take off nice and gentle and we're in the air lift your gear up and then possibly press T and turn on your SAS unit so that it keeps it stable as you can see it just goes crazy but that's the way it is all right and it's stable it's not tearing apart let's see if we can do some turns here Beautiful. Uh, fuel consumption doesn't seem to be too bad. Uh, obviously, you can work on that and make it more fuel efficient, but just generic rocket design here, or plane design. My generic <laughs> plane design. And uh, seems to be working just fine. Do a little low fly over here. It's stable. I'm not having too much issues trying to control it. Look at that right near the ground and nothing's crashing nothing's blown up 
nothing's wiggling around and uh, we're going pretty fast everything's working fine so uh, there you go quick space plane design for you uh, go ahead and try it out use some of these new principles that you may have learned and uh, enjoy